In today's episode, I'm going to be letting you know my thoughts on three replica fragrances from a relatively new fragrance house called The Cologne Factory. Uh, these are inspired by fragrances and I've not tried any of anything from this brand before, so let's dive in and we'll see what these are all about. Welcome to Mag's Frags. <laughs> Yes, hello again everybody and welcome to this latest episode of Mags Frags. I'm Paul and today I'm reviewing three samples that were very kindly sent over to me uh, for free by the Cologne Factory. They sent me uh, a quick message on my Instagram page and just asked me if I'd be interested in uh, maybe trying out a couple of their products and just to let them know basically what I think of them. They didn't ask me to create this video, uh, I'm not affiliated with them or sponsored by them in any way and I don't receive any kickback or financial gain if you were to visit their site or to buy any of their products. So this is definitely not an advertisement and uh, these opinions of these products are my own. Yes, yeah, so they sent me these uh, three random samples of just like popular fragrances that most people in the community are going to be very, very familiar with. So I'm not going to ramble on too much about how the originals of these smell, uh, but I will just give like a, a brief overview just in case uh, you're watching this and you're just starting out on your fragrance journey. This video is more about the quality of these dupes and, and basically whether I'd recommend them over like the, the other clone houses. Yes, yeah, so let's have a look at what they sent me. And the first one is called Smoked Vanilla. And the, this is uh, an inspired by version of uh, Tom Ford's Tobacco Vanille. The second one is called Pure Water. And this one is a copy of Creed's Virgin Island Water. And finally, uh, this one is called um, Leather of Tuscany. And you guessed it, this one is uh, inspired by uh, Tom Ford's Tuscan Leather. So basically, I'll be breaking the re review down into like various categories, including accuracy, presentation, performance and choice. Uh, but firstly, and most importantly, uh, for many of us out there, let's take a look at the, uh, the cost of these and compare them to the other clone houses. Yes, I won't mess about and I'll start by saying that these are the most wallet friendly clones that I've uh, ever come across and you can pick up three of these 13mm travel sprays uh, for just 12 quid. that's for th all three of them, 4 quid each uh, and anywhere else these are going to cost you around about the 9 or the £10 mark per bottle uh, so these are less than half the price of anywhere else. You can also buy any of these fragrances uh, in the 30ml bottle size and they're all priced at £10 regardless of what it's a clone of. Which again is by far the cheapest that I've seen any 30ml bottle sizes for. Unfortunately there's uh, no other larger bottle size options available at the moment so it's either the 30ml travel spray like these or the 30ml variants. There's also a free delivery on orders over £35, so in terms of price, the Cologne Factory has the competition licked. But it's all very well being cheap, uh, but are they any good? That's the, uh, the main question. So let's take a look at the uh, performance on these and also how accurate they are. And the answer to that question is yes, these are very, very high quality and they smell almost identical to what they're meant to be inspired by. There's hardly any of that off-putting alcohol blast in the opening and the, I would say the projection and the longevity is as good if not better than uh, uh, some of the other clone houses out there. These are shockingly high quality for the price you pay and right from the first spray these are unmistakable representations of the originals. The, uh, the Tuscan leather and the tobacco vanille copies are total monsters and they last all day in the project like beasts. The Virgin Island uh, copy isn't as potent just because of what the scent DNA is all about, it's a bit more fresh is that one. Uh, but it does last longer than the original Creed version which I um, struggle with and hardly really get any performance from, that, uh, from the original Creed. They're all um, Eau de Parfum concentration and I've got to say that even though I'm not the biggest fan of Tuscan leather and tobacco vanille uh, in their original forms, uh, there's no mistaking how high quality these are uh, and they just don't smell harsh at all. 
Yeah, as with all clone houses, you don't get any fancy packaging and uh, fancy bottles with these. However, these do come in a nice presentation box when you buy them, but because these were just like freebies, they arrived in a, a padded envelope. So I don't really have any of the uh, presentation box that you'd probably get if you, if you bought any of these. I really do like the uh, this black and chrome lettering that you get on there. And I also like the fact that the name of the original fragrance uh, that it's inspired by is printed on the label. But overall, there's nothing to get too excited about in terms of the presentation, uh, but they're, they're very functional and they, they've got decent sprayers and they look absolutely fine, so nothing wrong with the presentation whatsoever. Yes, yeah, so because the Cologne factory is a fairly new brand, they don't have as much choice as some of the other clone houses out there. Uh, but there's about 50 or so to choose from, and they seem to be just adding new products quite regularly. Uh, they cover all the usual, most popular niche and designer fragrances, uh, but they're not quite there yet in terms of choice compared to some of the uh, more established clone houses. Yeah, so in summary, these three samples that I've received, I think are of really, really high quality. And for the price, I think that they represent first class value for money. Obviously, I've only tried these three uh, and I don't have any experience of all the other products in the range. Uh, so I'd just say pick up three of these 13mm travel sp uh, sprays for 12 quid just to start with uh, and just try them out for yourself. There's also a, a Cologne Factory Facebook page where you can interact with other customers and maybe just pick up some good recommendations on there from uh, people that have already bought them. But in terms of the juice, these are top notch and I would highly recommend that you uh, at least give them a go. I'll certainly be picking up a few more to, uh, to try out in the future and I'll uh, be creating a couple more reviews for you. Yeah, so once again, that's about it for this latest episode. But don't forget, if you enjoy discovering new fragrances and new clone fragrance houses like uh, the Cologne Factory, uh, please don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and to subscribe to the channel. In times where money's getting tighter and tighter, uh, these clone houses, uh, they're just allowing people to experience high quality perfumery at a, a fraction of the price. So I personally uh, get as much satisfaction out of talking about these as I do reviewing the latest uh, £200 niche fragrance. So until next time, stay safe, keep smelling fresh and I'll see you very soon for another one. Bye bye for now.